It's you. I must apologize. I nearly mistook you for the type to leave your guests alone to fend for themselves. Hmm. Hmm. It's nothing. I was just thinking about something inane. Hey, you own this place. What are you so nervous about? It's not a good look. It's nothing. I was just thinking about something inane. In your... uh... realm, some areas are completely empty. I get it. There are always going to be those things that are just beyond our ability to manage. With some things, they improve over time. With other things, the most you can do is to maintain the status quo. This is your home. Arrange it as you wish. You're right. Look at me. Coming around here, criticizing your lifestyle choices. It's generous of you to host me in your home. The least I could do is be grateful. This is your home. Arrange it as you wish. I'm just another person passing through. Oh, it's you. I must apologize. You have the prerogative as the owner of this place. Let's hear it. <laughs> what? Were you expecting me to start the conversation? That's probably not going to happen. It's not so much that I have nothing to say. I just have nothing fun or positive to share. You make it sound like that's some kind of achievement. I'm pretty frank with everyone nowadays. Although, that hasn't always been the case. Do you know why I'm so fond of tea? When I drank tea for the first time, all I tasted was bitterness. No matter how much I try to drink, there was no sign of any kind of sweet aftertaste. At that time, I was sitting awkwardly by some bladesmiths. I was ignorant about the conventions for human conversation and their ways of life. Someone poured out a cup for me, and for lack of anything else to do, I accepted it, ended up downing one cup, then another, and then another. <laughs> now that I think back on it, they probably thought I genuinely liked to drink the stuff. And now that I've had a taste of just about every flavor in this world, I've found that actually, bitterness is the one I like best. Spices are just added extras to mask a bland base. And all sweetness does is make the ugly truth easier to stomach. But bitterness is the true flavor of life. Raw and unadulterated. I don't care for dressing things up to make them more palatable. Life is about learning to handle the truth. Bitterness is what it is. It doesn't change because of what comes before or after it. There's no need to kid yourself into thinking that a bitter cup of tea will have a sweet aftertaste. Oh, it's you. I must apologize. Why? You planning on helping me do it? Whatever it is? In that case, I need to give this some thought. I want to find out exactly where that line is, and then see how far you can be persuaded to bend it. <laughs> Kidding. Although the expression on your face was priceless, I'm not in the business to make you suffer just for my amusement. If you really have nothing better to do, why don't you go find something for me to eat? It's not strictly necessary. Not for me, anyway. But I've always found dinner tables to be extremely fascinating. Everyone's got their own agenda, but they all have to pretend to be cordial and considerate. <sighs> what I wouldn't give to take you to one of the Harbinger's banquets. <laughs> the extreme lengths they'll go to to get out of the missions they dislike. <laughs> it's truly a pity that only the two of us are here. A party of two won't have any good drama. Anyway, I'm not picky, so I'll eat whatever you make. Okay, 
My mistake. That wasn't an apology. I was just conceding an error in my judgment. I'm no fan of Dongo, or any other sticky sweets that make me feel like my teeth are fusing together. Keep them to yourself. Torn to oblivion! Anyway, it's probably a good thing that you have a mean streak. I don't think I could stand to be around you if you were completely incorruptible. Why don't you make some of your personal favorites? So even if it gets painfully awkward during our meal, we can still at least enjoy the food. Oh, I must apologize. Good morning. A new day. A new life, huh? Oh, it's you. I must apologize. So, another ordinary day. Nothing wrong with that, I suppose. Thank you for trying to look out for me. Go get some rest. I'm not done with today just yet. Cry louder! 